My name is Peter Fitzsimons and I'm Chairman of Action Mental Health. Yet again this year, the sector has been confronted with a challenging financial environment. However, I'm delighted staff in AMH have risen to the challenge and, above all, focused on supporting more people than ever, over 20,000 throughout the year. Mental illness can be incapacitating for an individual and we are aware the unsettling economic and political atmosphere poses greater difficulties for our clients. As a board, we have overseen changes in our strategic plan in order to adapt to the new environment, but we have always sought to minimise disruption to clients. The board has been keen to ensure the needs of clients are fully recognised by government. Our work to tackle stigma and speak out has developed over the year. We are firmly focused on not accepting the status quo and believe the disparity between physical and mental health resources must be addressed. So this will be a continuing theme in line with our strategic plan. Our clients are playing a major role in relaying the key messages to decision makers. We continue to work with all five health trusts as key partners to deliver the highest quality service in a cost-effective way and I'm pleased our geographic spread has expanded to reach more people and younger people. This theme of inclusion, aligned to recovery, will be a continuing focus as we move forward and we are grateful for our ESF funding which enables us to do this and to delve from managing the resources. I must also thank a wide range of partners which includes commissioners, officials and sponsors for their commitment and support. The board and committees met regularly throughout the year and I am very grateful to all the directors for their time and the expertise which they contribute to AMH. I would especially like to thank the chief executive, managers and all our staff and volunteers for their passion and commitment to our clients. Thank you.